Hello, this is Crafty Andy, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the philosopher's hat. And this is the finished project. And it's a wonderful hat that I've been dreaming about for many years to do. And one of the things that I wanted to show you is this cluster bubble that is on the sides. And you have choices whether to do it as I say to do it or you can do less repetitions of it because that's the way clusters are it's almost like a I call it a cluster because that's what it is it's a bunch of stitches together and then it becomes a bubble because all of them become one stitch but this is the way that it looks and this is why you start and some all my testers are, have been worried about that it's too conal, too uh, conical, like a cone. And once you fix the center with one of these tails that I tell you to work, you know, to leave a three to six inch tail, it's because you're going to have to go through the middle of these stitches, hopefully through the wrong side. And as you can see, and you will go in through this area, through there, and I'm going to show you by, see sometimes this is not the easiest of things to do, but when you have a uh, long enough tail, you go within the stitches that you did at the beginning and as you can see it's closing up but what we're going to do is we're going to go through the middle and as you can see this is the way that it should look so one of the things I wanted to show you is that I went through this circle so the inner circle with the yarn tail and I work with it and within it and I tighten it up so that we could get a very uh, nice looking closure to the beginning of the hat. Also the first, uh, this will be the first uh, stitch and it becomes bulky and I take advantage of this as I am closing in here to fix it. This will become a very professional looking hat. And you can hide, see, you can go through here. I'm going to leave that in there so that you see that you cannot see it on the other side. And that's the way to weave the ends in these kinds of uh, work you use what you have these strands or floats and this is also the philosopher's hat so i just wanted to add this on so that it was a little bit more clear and look at that it's just beautiful so here we are back and in the pattern it says to make a stitch between stitches and you see these two stitches this is exactly where you're gonna make that stitch and that's how you're going to make it and that is make a stitch making a stitch between two stitches and I'm almost done with this row and this is the philosopher's hat and crafty Andy finishing this round And this is just very simple, just takes some practice and see I'm pulling and I'm fixing the stitches as I go along creating some kind of tension and this helps with the hats.